Hi there, this is Joe from Shop 2 and I'm joined by Dan. Hello. And uh, this is going to be our WRC5 review, which if you don't know is like, rally racing. Rally racing. So let's talk about that. Uh, anything you know about rally racing, Dan? Uh, other than putting lots and lots of time into the Sega rally games, no. Oh, I used to <laughs> love them. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful games, although... This is nothing like them whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, is this is this more sort of realistic as opposed yeah. to the arcade sort of this feel? Is, yeah. This is one for fans of, of proper rally racing. So you have like a navigator shouting in your ear, be it a male or a female navigator going left, left two, right one plus one. <laughs> and I'm going. Or you just, you just, or like what I tend to do in these games is totally ignore it and just like. Power to the side of the road all the time. Yeah, I was just saying, what are they talking about? Left, what? Left, right? Oh no! And then there was this one stage. I, I don't know because they have uh, when you go in the main menu, you're sort of uh, met with quite a lot of options. So you obviously you have your solo play, which includes a quick rally and it includes challenges and things like that. And you've got your multiplayer, which I'll talk about in a bit. But in the solo play just before you jump in there's challenges which are all timed right. so they'll last for a certain amount of days so there's a few of them and there's also an esports one as well cool. but that's not that esports one's not actually live yet that that must I can't remember how many days it was until it kicks off it was something like 60 or something but uh, that's obviously for the pure mega fans of the series who all take it really seriously and and it for sort of prizes that, and stuff. Is it a bit implemented like the drive club idea where you can um, pitch challenges to your mates, that sort of thing? Yes, yeah, but I mean that that's completely different. That esports, that's just something I wasn't able to learn to. But the oh, other okay. cha- the other challenges, uh, these are just to kind of get your best times and stuff like that, sort of best of the best. And so I went in there, and and in there the navigator wasn't talking. So it was weird because obviously I'd been playing single player and I was used to the navigator talking stuff and then in this challenge I played, they just stopped talking completely. So I'm driving along and then all of a sudden this corner comes up and it just comes out of nowhere <laughs> and I just go right into the tree. It's like, oh no, they turned right, told me to turn right. <laughs> so that was a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, I mean, I imagine, I mean, I'm, I can't say I'm a mega rally fan, but uh, what I've seen of it, it's... It, it's actually quite good. I quite enjoy it. Actually, the, the... I mean, you mentioned that the the quick play. I mean, that is literally you pick a car, you pick a driver, you go in. But I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's some kind of championship as well, is there? Oh yeah, there's a career mode. So you're going to career mode, and there's this sort of a uh, tutorial bit to begin with that will sort of teach you how to drive, uh-huh. basically. And then you go through all the different rally stages. So. Just like obviously, you want to become the overall champion. But the good thing about it is, it's just, just so many areas, so many uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, tracks, different rallies. Right. So, like, think be like UK, Poland, all these fancy rally tracks. But there's so many of them. Well, what I've enjoyed about those games is there's a massive variety it's like in most racing games you've got you're racing on tarmac whereas rally you've got tarmac grit then you've got mud there's a massive variety i mean do you also have to bear that in mind i mean can you choose and customize your cars or is that the game lead up yeah to, yeah there's yeah. there's a bit of car customization and there's also the ability to repair your cars and believe me if you're like <laughs> me, yeah. you have to and <laughs> it's quite good in that respect because there's obviously the cars is licensed and you've so you have the proper drivers you have the proper oh. tracks and you have the proper cars which is really nice uh, and it, it does look nice i mean it's no forza let's face it it's probably not got the budget of forza so it, it, graphically it's not it's so i wouldn't say it's horrible i mean it looks good so graphically it's is pretty decent but, I mean, what was it? Were you playing it on this version? On PlayStation Four. I mean, there was a few jaggies on occasion, but it's, I mean, it's as good as you'd expect it to be graphics-wise. Sure. I mean, there's some moments where you think, "Wow, that actually looks pretty, pretty amazing." You, you get the odd moments out like with the sunlight glints off the car or whatever, but, but in general, yeah, it's an okay-looking game, really. 
So, I, I know a lot of games, recent like racing games, are always sort of harking about, oh, it's amazing, they've got dynamic weather and things, and rally games tend to have had that in play for a long time. What's it like in this? Do you get, like, snow and rain as well? Well... Or like night, 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 night mm, driving, I think, is one of them, isn't it? See, I think, yeah, there, there is a uh, nighttime driving. There is snow, but it doesn't actually, from what I've seen so far, it's not actually dynamic weather. So it's right. kind of snow on the surface, but that's about it. As far as I've I've seen so far, obviously okay. you get muddy tracks and ice and all that. So I mean, and the cars take damage. So if you're absolutely dreadful driving, you're, you're crawling over the line by the end of it because cause your brakes are getting damaged or or your clutch or whatever. So some of the noises the cars make by the end of the race. It's a bit unnatural, yeah. It's just like, oh my god, what have I done to this car? It sounds got like half, it's... got half a forest dragged under the car. I know. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Like the car's being down. It's going, please help me. What's he done to me? He's wrecked me. And then there's the multiplayer, which uh, the mo- you're actually racing in your own for most of it, as you'd expect from Rally. So it's just yeah. you on the track. So even in the multiplayer, you go on and you race against people but you see their their sort of ghosts so ghosts that's that's always the problem i found with rally games in particular is the whole it's you're on your own it is ghost it's this timing which i do feel is a little bit Although, sort of look, separate this it's it doesn't feel separate because the ghost is actually real time racing with you okay all oh, right so that's a good idea so you see the ghost but it is actually the people so you are sort of, against... you are racing neck and neck with somebody it's yeah. just that you can drive through their ghost rather than knocking them off the track yeah exactly exactly so that's yeah cool. that's but, a good idea so I mean overall I think it's a not bad game I mean I, I, it's definitely one for the fans that's 100% for sure it's mm. I think fans of Rally will think it's great I mean I never played it last year so it's hard for me to say what improvements there are over last year's version but I mean I think if you're expecting a good rally racing game and you're a big rally fan, then, I mean, you're not going to be disappointed, I don't think. I mean, like content-wise, you're saying there's an awful lot of tracks and um, trials to take over, in it? Yeah, exactly. Lots of tracks, lots of, lots of game modes where you can do career and you can do quick play and challenges, quick rallies. There's lots of customizations. There's a multiplayer. I mean, so there's not really a lot to complain about in, in respect of content. Graphically, it could probably be a little bit better, but that would be budget restrictions. So I mean, there's not much can do about that. But I mean, it's it's good enough for what it is. So yeah. I'm also, I feel they're still because they're doing Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Vita, I think as well. They are kind of straddling. Whereas I think, give it a year or so, maybe they're going to be focusing on the current gen. You might see a, a, a better sort of visual finish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can imagine it'd be great on Vita as well. I mean, imagine the Vita version be good. But yeah, if you like rally games, I mean, I think it'd be good. So that's that's our review. I think. Shut it up. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.